everyone, welcome to this totally not lazy game reviews video. My name is Jay Wakefield and this channel is in fact Video Sans Frontier. So um, if you were wanting my channel, I don't know why you would would, I don't know why you would want my channel, but um, if you were wanting my channel and um, you can see the Sims 2 Mansion and Garden stuff uh, startup screen, then please do not adjust your set you have come to the right show. Now, you might be wondering, why am I doing a J Plays The Sims 2? Am I trying to copy LGR and try and garner as much popularity as he has? Well, actually, no. I think that that would be very shallow of me to try and do everything like LGR does. Um. <coughs> No, I was actually given um, a request on my last video for um, a J Plays of The Sims 2. So that is what we're actually going to do in this video. Now, uh, The Sims 2 has now been out for 11 years. It came out on September um, September 2004, I believe the 14th. Um, I got a copy not long after. Um, but it wasn't until 2008 that I started collection, collecting expansion packs. Uh, first copy of the game that I got, let's not talk about that. But my ex-girlfriend, um, who was my then girlfriend at the time, did buy me The Sims 2 Deluxe uh, with Nightlife in it in 2007 for my Christmas, which was awful nice of her. Um, and then from then on I started actually collecting expansion packs. Mostly gifted by her, but I did buy a few myself. Um, a friend sold me pretty much everything she had Sims 2 wise for 60 quid as well um, in Easter 2008. She just had enough of it. Overcome by a moment of madness and yeah, I might have walked away with all those games for like 60 quid. Um, some of which I actually did share then with my ex-girlfriend and then we all had we both had um, our own copies of The Sims 2 completely up to date what have you very nice anyway <coughs> The Sims 2 it's actually now gotten to that point in its life where you kind of have to fiddle about with it to make it run on new hardware I mean I installed this game and this system that I'm playing it on Certainly the graphics card is not a slouch by any stretch of the imagination. It's a GTX 750. Um, okay, maybe not the uh, most powerful graphics card among among uh, all graphics cards that exist, but um, certainly the most powerful card I've ever had. So, I actually had to fiddle around with it to be able to get it to display in 720p rev resolution. Anyway, why don't we go and play some? So, um, we're going to uh, go with a classic town here, Pleasant View. Um, <coughs> apparently it says it'll take a while to load a town. And I can imagine, oh, are we going to get the ultra smooth frame rate? Yes, we are, despite the fact that I'm running a Camtasia over the top of this. Look at that. Although I've probably been a skin flint and uploaded it in 30 frames per second, so... Really sorry about that. Anyway, so here we are. Well, of course it doesn't do edge scrolling there because I've, um, I've got it in windowed mode. So uh, let's have a look. We've got the Pleasant family. You probably founded this... Uh, we township thing. Um, what people have swimming pools? The Broke family. They even have a swimming pool, even though they've only got a wee bungalow. Um, the Caliente family. And the Dreamer family. The Goth family. And these are the families that uh, tonight we'll be playing Family Fortunes. Um, of course, uh, we'll, we'll have um, a couple of rounds of um, 
we'll have a couple of ra couple rounds of gameplay, then we'll go on to double money, and then at that point one family will leave it, and then we'll go on to big money, and uh, the uh, winning family will have a chance to win £5,000 and a Red Day Unexia, which will be uh, awful nice, I'm sure. Um, and I might be blathering on a wee bit here because I seem to have lost my family. That was a way to play with. Oh, no, I have me. This completely oversized, what kind of looks like a village middle school. This is a family I'm going to play with. So, um, yeah, I'd like you to meet um, the very kind of Swedish, but not Swedish at all sounding, Van der Plug family. I was thinking about playing with some, I was thinking about, you know, making a family, you know, just a, you know, kind of a, a traditional kind of family, you know, two adults, 2.4 kids. Oh, right. Now this is interesting. Turns out that I've not actually played with this family before. I just kind of made them and I started building the house. I did think it looked a wee bit plain. Um... Yeah, but I mean, like I said, this is grossly, this is a grossly oversized house, but um, this is what I tend to do. I mean, look at this, it's a grand manor. And it's also purple. Oh well. <laughs> I don't know why, I don't, I don't know why I always do these massive houses. I, I just have done, and yes, I, I have put in the money cheats and what have you. Because, uh, you know, no standard game of The Sims 2 could they start with uh, such finery. You know, you'd be lucky to get, you know, a one-bedroom bungalow. Um, although if you rent, if you install downtown, if you install the apartment life pack and rent a flat, then, um, you know, that does actually make, um, it does actually make, living a lot more affordable so why don't we actually start building this house so uh, I'm, I'm not going to get used to this lack of edge scrolling seriously okay so we now have a staircase that's fantastic congratulations on the purchase of your very own staircase we hope you will find that this staircase helps you uh, go up in the world. So let's have a look. Um, am I gonna? Uh, what is this? I can't put a staircase to the next floor. Come on! Oh, I think I know what I need to do. Before I can actually, you know, do a staircase. Also, I'm kind of struggling because, you know, in window mode, this is quite small. Normally, I'm playing at a lower resolution. See, this is it. <laughs> I've never been at the point where, you know, I mean, even though I do have, uh, you know, low vision, I've never been at the point where I've actually had to lower the resolution, not because of the graphics card, but because of my eyesight. Um, never had to do that. Um, so what we're going to do now is um, I've actually put some flooring in and that, that's what I actually needed um, you know some flooring and now we've got a nice a grand staircase and what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of get this cheap flooring once again and you know make a second floor um, just in case you're getting a bit confused, um, I will be using the usual kind of Scottish convention, ground floor, first floor, second floor. Um, I always get, I always get a wee bit mixed up, um, with the American conventions, you know, kind of first, second, third. Um... I could confuse you more though by calling it Redder Shows. 
Red, sorry, Red Chose. So why don't we have, I don't know, um, why, don't, why don't we do some, okay, so for the purpose of this game, I'm not, I'm not going to bother putting in, I'm not going to bother putting in anything on the third floor unless it necessitates it, and I might make this a bit of a series, who knows, you know, I might, I might do that, um, but uh, what I'm going to do is we'll start adding in some bedrooms, as you do, there you go, um, I know what I'll do there because there's no window, I'll put in a bathroom, now I am going to add a window, but I'm just going to add a, a small window, now I know that sims really don't care about uh, things like people being able to see into the bathroom from a window, um, you know, but to try and make the house look a wee bit more lifelike, we'll we'll see what we can do. Um, I usually go for one of these Wendy's. Um, what I'll do, yep, white, that'll be absolutely fine. And then we'll just have a an entire row of them. So at least it'll be at least a a bit light. Whoopsie. We'll put a door in, in a wee bit. Okay. So we'll make, what we'll do is we'll make two rooms. There's only two people living in the house, but hey, we can, we can do stuff with these rooms. In fact, I've known, and, and the thing is, it's like, sometimes I think with The Sims 2, you know, if you do play this way, like with all the money cheats and what have you, uh, sometimes... I think it's a good idea to I don't know make the make the place a wee bit self-contained. I don't I honestly don't know what kind of use that room's gonna be. But. There we go. We've got some rooms. You, <clears throat> you kind of have to make everything a wee bit self-contained. Because, you know, I mean, you'd like your sims to do all this cool stuff. But the trouble is, the mechanics of actually leaving the lot leave a lot to be desired, actually. And this is something that was vastly improved with The Sims 3. You see, if you're wanting to leave the... If you are wanting to leave the lot in The Sims 2... Um, what you actually have to do, well, you can do that. Let's, let's, let's add some doors in while I try actually. Yes, you can leave the lot on The Sims 2, but, um, when you do, you usually have to load where you want to go. So it'll load your, your, uh, the screen of the town. And, you know, if you want to go downtown or to the shopping district or what have you, you then actually have to then load the downtown screen or the shopping district screen. It's it's just so cumbersome. And once you get once you get to your destination, you know time will elapse normally. Let's say you leave at ten o'clock in the morning, then you'll arrive at the uh, destination. You'll you'll arrive at the lot that you want to uh, go and visit. Um, you'll arrive at the lot that you want to go visit. All very well and good. You know, and you might stay there till, I don't know. Sometimes I've been known to stay at a lot till about 8 o'clock at night because the time's just kind of run away. Your sims are getting tired. You think, okay, let's take them home. So you take them home. And, um, you know, a uh, few minutes of uh, 
tap it, drumming your fingers on the desk later, you know, waiting for the damn thing to load up. You finally arrive home, your sims are tired after a, you know, after a good day out. Except it's still 10 o'clock in the morning. Because the time didn't elapse on your lot. It just elapsed for the sims. So that means the sleeping patterns are completely out. You know, that's, that's, ugh. I can't stand it. I'm sorry, I just, ugh. Oh, I, th th I mean, it's kind of, that's one of the reasons. I mean, I wouldn't have necessarily mind the loading time so much if it would just elapse the time. And okay, The Sims 4, that's, that's kind of got loading screens as well. But, at least with The Sims 4, you do actually have, um, you do actually tend to have, you know, time elapse on, at your home as well as wherever the sims are so at least i've improved it with that but i'm, I'm still not sold on the sims 4 if i'm going to be completely honest i mean yeah okay i'm playing the sims 2 and it has you know the same sort of limitations that the sims 4 has that the sims 3 didn't have but that's okay i mean it was a it was the sims 2 you know that was kind of 2004 technology sims 4 came out 10 years later you know i expect a bit better than a very kind of fancy Sims 2. Yes, you know, it has added a lot, you know, what with emotions and kind of things like that. You know, that that is quite good. I'm just gonna build a bathroom there. Um, but um, at the same time, I would, um, you know, I would sooner have, um, you know, some of the things from The Sims 3. Some of the things like, um, you know, maybe a bit more of the world being open and definitely more color customization i mean that that is my that is my gripe with the sims 4 is that the i mean you you sh you can't expect the base game of the next sims to have all the trappings from a fully expanded version of the sims from the previous generation but similarly I am not going to expect the base game of The Sims 4 to offer to me less than what the base game of The Sims 3 offered to me. That, I just think, I don't like it. You know, I played The Sims 4 for 10 minutes, I got it, you know, I was looking forward to it, you know, I got it, I played it for about 10 minutes, and I was totally unimpressed. And of the expansions I've seen so far, I'm still not impressed. Really, I, 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 yeah. I think they kind of dropped a clangor with it, personally. So, yeah. Needs must, I might have to wait for the Sims 5. So we have indoor and outdoor pools. It's good actually, because I do have the Seasons Expansion Pack installed on here. I have to admit, that is uh, that is actually my favourite, uh, one of my favourite expansion packs. Because weather just adds, you know, such a dimension to the game that you would not otherwise have. Okay. Anyway. I've, um, I've actually defined rooms. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go now to the top down view and we'll start adding things like lights. <clears throat> so instead of being LGR, I'm now going to attempt to be the Maritime Man. Yeah, this is this is really going well. I guess um, I guess in the video after this, I will have to try and you know kind of reclaim my identity by making a video about formatting the Compact Armada E five hundred with and with the uh, multiple T breaks and um, and a lot of uh, Scottish independence talk. I completely forgot. How few likes were here. I 
I loved it when I learned the money cheat. It was basically a case of, oh, what's the most expensive thing? Yeah, we'll take that one. Hmm. I think I'll... Right. And what I'm going to do, actually, it's, um, it's better to, you know, install the lights in night view. You can actually switch the two. You can actually see how your house looks during the day and how it looks at night. And I've always found it better to install the lights in night view. That way... Ah. Oh. So, so apparently it's not going to work now. Um... Did it work in The Sims 2 or am I thinking of The Sims 3? <laughs> that is a question! <laughs> oh, there we go! I don't know why it didn't work then. There we go. So, you actually... You actually kind of get a feel for how the, the lights look. There we go. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to... I'm going to use the... Uh, I, the uh, clone tool, the selection tool. It's uh, very similar to the eyedropper tool. It's very similar to a selection tool in a photo editing program that lets you um, select a color. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to have some good old fluorescent lights for the kitchen because I don't know. Now that is going to send my OCD crazy. There we go. That's better. Um, for the swimming pool? I don't know. Why don't we have... That one. <laughs> Not fluorescent... Uh, not fluorescent tube. Kind of. Kind of reminds me of um, a luxury swimming pool I used to go to back in the day. Uh, sometimes, uh, when I lived down in England, called uh, Long Ashes. That's a that's a really nice pool actually. Had all the trappings as well. Had uh, jacuzzi, uh, sauna, steam room, as well as an actual pool. It was, it was just brilliant. A wee bit on the fancy side. I'll do the bathrooms last, actually. So, um, I don't know, I like to decorate these houses, like, in a, in a kind of very similar fashion to, you know, how you might go about building a house in real life, you know, you... You put, um, you know, you put the house together. You start adding things like walls, doors, and then you get your electrics and your plumbing hooked up. And you know, once all that's done, then then you start to decorate. This might be a wee study. I always, I don't know why I usually like to have a study in my houses. It's it's just kind of nice and cozy, and just a nice kind of blue room with them. Um, a computer desk, a bookcase, an easy chair, and a coffee machine. Because, of course, thanks to uh, thanks to Waterstones, anywhere now where you read books, you have to have instant access to hot drinks. Okay. Oh, and Waterstones is a uh, British bookstore. That's um, it's quite nice. And yes, they usually do have um, a coffee shop. It'll be a chain one, like uh, Starbucks or Costa, you know, something like that. But talking of um, talking of coffee shops, Social Social Bite, which is a charitable one, has uh, opened up in uh, the Voltand one in Aberdeen. So um, to that, I'm really thrilled. Right, um, once again, what I'm going to do, gonna take out these Wendy, take out this Wendy, and I'm going to put the wee, the wee ones up. A 
if there if there are frosted glass windows on here, I can't find them. <laughs> okay, so let's. And this is how I usually do the game. Actually, um, I usually I usually start by putting things like bathrooms in and what have you. Um, so I'll decorate the bathrooms. So. I don't know, something like, um, that's, I think that's quite nice. There we go. And then we'll have some, um, we'll have some tiled walls as well. Um, I think yellow complements the blue really quite nicely and kind of gives it a nautical, kind of coastal feel. There we go. And let's actually add some stuff in here now. Um, so what we can do, we'll go back to um, sort by room and you can actually, you've got the different rooms there. Living room, dining room, bedroom, study, outdoors, kitchen, kids, and bathroom. I like how the bathroom's a toothbrush and a mug. Don't know, it always, it always felt kind of coothy playing this game. Don't know how, just dead. Let's get a nice expensive uh, cropper. Let's have a more average looking bath as well. some of these sinks it's like the sims like the expensive sinks and what have you they don't necessarily like the cheaper ones but I mean if you see some of these gaudy designs honestly I do you know what I I think I would uh, I mean judging by some of these really quite gaudy designs that you've got to kind of thumb through to get something that's not offensive I've got to say, I would like to see how Will Wright's house is decorated. Will Wright was the um, father of The Sims, originally, but then you know, EA came along. I th well, yeah, Will Wright kind of left the game after Spore. Bit of a shame, really. Spore should have been a screaming success. See, I was really excited for it, but I'm, I'm still not, you know, I mean, considering what's, you know, what's happened with it and, you know, how, how it's completely limited based on, you know, what it was supposed to be, I'm not convinced. Right, okay, we have some bathrooms now. Um, I guess the next thing to do is uh, plumb in the kitchen. So, why don't we decorate it? So, once again, I'm going to start by installing a floor. I'll have some linoleum. Um, black and white checkered, obviously. Make the place... Actually, you know what would be fu you know what I think would be funny? Let's make it look like a 50s diner. A 50s diner that maybe doesn't have a gaudy offensive design on the walls. Come on guys, it's not Christmas every day of the year. Or I could make it look like something out of the 80s. <laughs> I 
make us oh paneling oops paint there we go jengs and 50s diners are kind of generally oh yeah <laughs> All I need is. <laughs> and this is a kitchen, not the dining room, although it's big enough. Yeah, these rooms are way too big. I am aware of that. <laughs> all, I'd, all I really need now is like a few red kind of chairs and tables, a jukebox. And. <laughs> Why do we need the red chairs? Because we need to validate what the per what the person says who says, sit on it. <laughs> and I need to put Arthur Fonzarelli in. I need to mod The Sims 2 for an action, so it's like you turn off a jukebox by going, <coughs> hey. Actually, I. I should really sit and watch an episode of Happy Days. I mean, I've heard all sorts of references um, to it, but not actually seen a full episode. It's, I mean, I've seen clips of them, like, you know, when the Fonz hit the jukebox and what have you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I like it was something, I like how it was something Peter Griffin tried to emulate um, when he... Uh, Went undercover at um, Meg School as a student. All right, so we're gonna have lots and lots of worktops. Actually, I think that's necessary here if you want to install all the appliances, which I will because there we go. Do you know what, actually? I might, I might install a wee table and chairs in here. I mean, why not? And I'm going to have the dining room as well, but... Ever heard of a thing called a breakfast bar? Can you install breakfast? I don't know. Um... Can you get high stools? Certainly not in this section. Oh well, um... Actually, yeah, you know what? I know that we can... I know that there are seats that are kind of designed more for... Like, going out. But, um, I think what I'll do is I'll install some in here. Um... And I might actually be able to find a bar still. I know you can get floating islands. Um... So that's uh, that's quite good, actually. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll probably keep a couple of those. Yeah, there we go. And then um, and then what I can do is yeah, they started introducing the floating island versions with them. Um, later expansion packs. You know what, I'll put the rest of them here. I'll move this one over as well. Actually, does it? Does that actually, um... No, it doesn't. Actually, I wonder if I... I mean, that's probably not... What on earth did I just do then? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. That's what I just did then. Ah, here we go. Excellent. That's actually now linked up with that, so that uh, looks awful tidy. And I know that I've been making. Um, actually, 
Actually, yeah, I think it might just be about enough room. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get go for the seat. Um, now I know there's kind of in, there's like booth seats, so I might just make a booth. I know these exist. I just don't know where I can find them. Ah, unless they're under the miscellaneous. Nope. That's... Ah! We do have some... Uh, we do have bar seats. So that's a result there. Oh yeah, uh, that definitely looks kind of 50s, 80s, <laughs> now that it's pink, alright, now we've got, boom, <laughs> I don't know why this, I don't know why I'm finding this so funny, but I, I, I kind of um it's like who'd who'd build a nineteen fifties diner in their own home? Answer Billy Core. <laughs> I could actually imagine Billy doing that, you know, if he had a house big enough he he probably would actually Yeah. <laughs> actually move this bar back back a wee bit. <laughs> ah. <sighs> and if I'm offending people who are actually from the 50s, I make absolutely no apologies because you offended everyone else. Um, see, while people in the UK were struggling with things like, um, you know, rationing books and what have you. The <laughs> the Americans in the nineteen fifties were taking gargantuan V eight engine cars out to try and impress um, baby doll. <laughs> Excellent. That's absolutely brilliant. All it needs is a couple of neon signs, um, and then we've got <laughs> giving it that <laughs> 50s tighter from the 80s kind of a feel. <laughs> Again, I really don't know what I really don't know what is so funny about this, but it but it is. Um, <laughs> Maybe it's that I've developed a taste for uh, Ed's Easy Diner. You know, that's, that's, in fact, Ed's Easy Diner is actually quite a nice place to go. Um, even though my uh, preferred Americana diner of choice would actually be um, Frankie and Benny's. Now I'm going to uh, pack this 1950s style Utopia kitchen. Um, do you know what? I think. Oh, that's that's not going to work, is it? 
See now this is where in The Sims, this is where in The Sims 3 I'd be able to give it um, a, um, a bright red phone, a kitchen phone. <laughs> So we've got an oven and now to pack this kitchen so full of um, appliances that you might not necessarily have had access to in the 50s big and brown dishwasher seriously shiny things incorporated Um, and I'm going to see if I can try and get the matching, uh, oh well, it sort of matches, trash compactor. And then of course you want all the, the wee knickknacks, so, um, hot chocolate maker, I think so. Coffee maker, espresso machine. Now you're starting to see why we need all this um, kitchen top real estate. And we don't want that on the bar. And then we've got this kind of bohemian foodie thingy thing um, you know my head is so full of 50 songs at the moment and I'm trying my damnedest not to sing any of them uh, not only because I'd probably break your computer with my singing but um, also because I'd probably get done in by the, maf the copyright mafia Even though I'm pretty sure the person who sung, um, you know, Etsy, Wetsy, um, Etsy, Betsy, Teeny, Weeny, Yellow, Polka Dot, Bikini is probably deed. Um, someone still owns their estate. But then again, how, how do we know that they even had an estate? They probably had a, they probably had a saloon or a pickup truck or a coupe or something. I don't know. Right, now, um, let's actually um i realize i'm not going to be playing much with the characters in this one so um i, I definitely will be doing a follow-up and um red dining room carpet maroon for the living room don't know, i quite like maroon it's a nice cutie color um Tiled floor for the swimming pool. Let's see if we can get something nice. There we go. And um, I'm probably going to install a jacuzzi at some point. Um, <laughs> right now. Jings, I had complete brain freeze there. Um, again kind of get out that seafront kind of feel excellent 
Now let's go and decorate the rest of the house. So, what are we going to do for the living room? I've decided to... Um, actually, I don't know what I've decided, but... Um, you know what, I think this will do for the living room. And then... Um, And then this will do for the hallway as well, actually. That is quite nice, actually. Um, and I think I can turn the day back on, actually, while I'm at it. Let's just kind of pretend I had uh, workmen going through the night on this house. Wasn't my idea, I promise. They've just got a terrible, terrible union. There we go. So, hallways decorated. Um, the living room is decorated. So the house is actually starting to come along now. Um, and basically what I'm going to do now is... Um, what I'm going to do now is just kind of go and... We'll put some uh, we'll put some things in the living room. Um, so, for example, yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put kitchen items in the living room because why not? I mean, that's how a bed set in a traditional traditional sense would have worked. Actually, no, it wouldn't. Traditional bed set would have had uh, communal kitchen. Um, right. Oh, that's appropriate. Apparently I've been capturing video on here as well. Um... See, this looks like a nice, comfortable sofa. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do as well. I'm going to move these windows. Because it is now my intention to actually go ahead and install a fireplace. Except I don't remember where on The Sims 2 I would go about finding such an item. I know on The Sims 3, ah, we've got, I've got it, I've got it. Oh, and I will need to add some things to the swimming pool because there is a quite entertaining, there is a quite entertaining, what have I done, um, bug where you can actually have a sim drown in the pool because they're not able to haul themselves out um, without the aid of some stairs, some uh, st uh, wee step ladder. So while I've got the pool here, what I can do, I'll just drop in a couple of step ladders. Um, I'll turn night mode back on very briefly because I want to install some um, underwater lighting. Do 
don't have enough. <laughs> no, nope. maybe not enough room to fit um, a slide in the indoor pool, but um, I've got enough to fit one out here. So um, once again, you know, same with this pool. Underwater lighting. Which is actually, um, you know, I think a necessity in this one. And yeah, I think I'll stick uh, diving board at the other end of the pool. I like that. There we go. So the pools are complete, and the living room has got uh, some basic things in it, but that's just not gonna do. Um, Sims get bored easily. That's the people. Um, so. I think, well first of all, um, there we go, I think that, um, what on earth, wow, I never, de I never discovered these before, you've got wee uh, over, um, you've got wee shelves that kind of go on the wall, that's, uh, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, coffee table. Perfect. Oops. And the fire probably will cause a f an actual f fire to happen at some point. Um, so it's always a good idea to have a fire alarm um, where there exists a fire uh, fireplace or a cooker. So I'll need one here. And I think I'm going to install a fire in here as well, actually. Um, same kind of deal. I get easily distracted if I'm like, oh, this needs installed. Oh, that needs installed. There we go. So, install a fire. There we go. And, I mean, a fire was just kind of there for show in the early stages of The Sims 2. But, you know, once Seasons comes around, you actually do need to have a fire there um, for actual usage. You can kind of tell the age of this game as well, because you've got you've got a lot more in the way of uh, the older fishbowl TVs. And it's not until you kind of start paying a lot that you'll get things like um, flat screens. You know, and I think more of them actually started appearing in later expansion packs that came in came out in the late 2000s which was really when people started getting um, better TVs uh, well flat screen televisions and you know yeah th there were a few people who had flat screen TVs you know, in the late in, in the mid 2000s but um, really it um, it wasn't as many as it is today. I mean, it was it was still a, a new thing and and a newish kind of a thing. I mean, I had a. I mean, I got my first flat screen computer monitor um, in two thousand five. Whoops. Um, you know, and it's it's a monitor that I. You know, it's it's something that I do like to actually have. Yes, I'm into retro computers. Yes, I do understand the merits of CRT screens. Um, but at the same time, you know, with my vision, the need to sit quite close to the screen. I'm a lot happier with flat screens.
really don't know how 50s diners would operate with windows. I, I guess they don't really have much of anything. Um, I'll stick some blinds up, I think. Yeah, can I get some? Yeah, these look <laughs> these look absolutely awful. But I guess I'll do kind of a American diner esque. You know. Sort of American sort of American diner where you'd be like you know, just sat there eating breakfast and the waitress comes up to you and Gonna dub your fun. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. And um, we're not actually gonna put blinds in the swimming pool. They'd just get damp. Well, not in The Sims, but in real life, if, if that was a thing, then yeah, probably would get damp. Um, whoopsie. I want a. I want to go into the study now and look for hobbies and interests. And let's install some bookcases. Oh yeah. So I think what I'll do. Just for the time being, I won't get the study ready. I'll, I'll just kind of decorate the two bedrooms and then we'll kind of let the Sims wander around and be like, oh, oh, I blow, um, Cicerum. Um, right. A couple of last things I need for the living room. Um, Electronics, obviously. Um, let's get this. I don't know. They don't seem to like cheap phones. So yeah, let's. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll we'll have this. Um, we'll put this there. And actually, every room's going to need fitted with a burglar alarm. Um, you know, due to the, this is quite a handsome looking stereo, a good old timetable as well. Now, truly a study might be a thing because they don't have computers and you can't, on The Sims 3 where you can carry stuff around with you like a laptop, you can't, I don't think you can do that on, on here. And then you've got the Maxis Game Simulator, which lets you play SSX3, which is um, it's quite funny, actually, because that is <laughs> that's a nice wee advertisement, actually, for that. Um, it's like, oh, they're playing SSX3, and you can too. Um, I'd never thought about, you know, that game in real life, so when, you know, I, went, I started at university, and... Uh, <laughs> My uh, flatmate was like, uh, was asking me have I ever played it. I was like, oh, look, you're just like a sim. You're playing SSX3. Right, for the dining table, let's have something nice and fancy. So these are some very, very rich Swedish people. Uh, maybe they had stakes in both Volvo and ABBA or Saab or something. I don't know. IKEA. Maybe they, um, maybe they're the top secret Illuminati owners of Ikea. Um, so, you know, maybe they get to play the Ikea theme song on the air horn. Obviously, in real life, you'd need 12 air horns for at least, you know, one full scale of notes. We'll 
go for the white ones. I don't know why, but we just will. And if anyone has any problems with that, please feel free to um, put your opinions in any trash can at all. I'm getting on. Now, there we go. That looks very gaudy. Now, bedrooms, bedrooms, bedrooms. Let's let's have some bedroom talk. Let's talk bedrooms. Um, so these bedrooms will be wanting on a carpet, something quite calming. Do you know what? Why don't I decorate this like um, kind of like my room is? <laughs> Funnily enough, I actually have this carpet. <laughs> this is a carpet I actually have in real life. Um, never. Um, this desk drawer keeps opening. <laughs> it's annoying. There we go. And what we'll do stick some curtains in and a bed and all that sort of good stuff um, where is it bedroom nope wrong one so Obviously, I've got lots of things to decorate with. I mean, I've, I've only done a basic decoration of this house. Um, so, I mean, obviously, I could just kind of put, like, a wee framed photo there. Um, I really don't know what that's a photo of. It could be something very offensive or very inappropriate. Um, but, yeah, I guess kind of that's all the fun. Green curtains for real. In in my bedroom. Uh, boom. So what I could do now is I'll go back to yeah bedroom. Um, still got stuff to do. So double bed. Fancier double bed. Now in real life I actually have a divan. Which is um it's extremely useful actually to have such a thing because You see now in the Sims 3 you wouldn't have this problem with awful bedding. Look, that looks like there's no bedding at all. That's probably all right, actually. That's that's not too bad. There, there is quite a lot of choice, actually, with this one. So, um... So this, I think, would, would do. And yeah, let's get some in the words of J Rock, let's get some bedside tables going up in this mat. <laughs> that one just looks animated. Seriously, it looks like it's out of a computer game. I mean yes, all of these are, but come on guys. I thought it was realism that you were after. And then you brought out The Sims 4 and everything was all worse. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is two bedside, a bedside table each with some sort of a, a wee lamp each. Again, really you don't need these things because the Sims aren't going to interact with them, which is a bit of a shame. But, um, hey. Now on The Sims 3 at least, you can actually change the colour of the lighting so you could actually emulate my sensory room, but you'd have to do it manually. Um, although sometimes when I go to sleep in real life, I like to put the light on either mint green or purple. Um, I keep selecting hobbies. Seriously, what is with that? Um, storage. Ah, oh, jings. Right. Okay, I've done that. And now I want to install... I actually want to install a makeup table. Perfect. And there you are, basic house. With half the rooms not even decorated. So, oh, before I do anything though, why don't I give my Sims some cars? So to do that, I need to go to Outdoors and then Miscellaneous. Uh, it doesn't look like I've uh, actually given them any cars. Um, however, it's, it's quite a fun thing actually. Um, in The Sims 2 there's lots of cars, lots of actual cars that you can get. You can get them from Mod The Sims 2, um, you can get them from, um, you can get them from all sorts of places. Um, I like that, you know what, I really like the Junker car kits that you can get. Um, I'm going to get him a pickup truck actually. Um, there we go. But um, EA Games actually did do some as well. Mm. So there you are. The house has been built. Are they going to go... Are they going to discover it? Why don't we follow them and find out? Oh! Masha! <laughs> so are you two just gonna kind of sit there trying to kind of... <laughs> Oh, he's talking about an aeroplane next to the police plane. <laughs> when, when did aeroplanes go woo woo? This is Polis. Oh, Lina! Oh, <laughs> so it doesn't really look like they're gonna do Oh my goodness, what was what was all that about? They just kind of ran off. <laughs> oh, they've decided to go pillow fighting in the street because that's a perfectly acceptable thing. <laughs> 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 Seriously, guys. 
Oh yeah, that's that's <laughs> even more sensible. <laughs> <than that. laughs> have a pelly fight in the middle of the road. So here it is. <laughs> Oh, look! Greetings. Mm. So, apparently, uh, Mr. Humble is left as a gift. Not Mr. Tumble, Mr. Humble. Oh, yeah, I love how she's just kind of hanging in midair with her ponytail. Seriously. The center's a computer. That's really good. Ah, uh, the square shadows. This can happen. Now, there is a way to get rid of these, but I can't remember what that is. Oh, and she's on the can. Right. Anyway, I think this video's gone on far too long, and uh, we've done absolutely nothing apart from. We've built the house. <laughs> So what I'm going to do, I'm going to end this video here, and we'll come back to this game at a later date, I think. You know, and, um, you know, we'll see what kind of stories might unfold with the characters, and, you know, we might even put the computer up. I mean, obviously, if this was me in real life, I would be putting the computer up first of all. Um... Okay, so she has a, she kind of has pigtails when she's in the bath because logic. Yeah, and this this game pretty soon will not run on anything modern. I'm not sure of it. It's gonna be kind of like Theme Hospital became like, like um, you know, you you've actually got to you're gonna actually have to keep an old machine around for these kinds of games. And I, I knew this was gonna be a thing. So, um, you know, I am prepared for that. So, we'll leave, um, we'll leave Liana van der Plug there to go and, <laughs> and make some ham sandwiches. Um, and what's, what's Bjorn up to? Yeah, um, he, he's currently staring at us. Elagana! I can't seem to get to the bathtub. Oh, there we go. So much better. Anyway. Thank you for watching this video, Tom Frontier video. If you liked what you see, please feel free to uh, subscribe to this channel. Um, actually, with this video, I think it would be more. If you liked what you see, please feel free to uh, subscribe to Lazy Game Reviews channel. It's uh, youtube.com forward slash freakandd, spelled P H R E A K I N D E. But um, my channel, you can subscribe to it, you can follow it on Facebook, and if you want, you can even follow me on Twitter. To do so, please just go online and um, type in one of the three URLs that will follow. In the meantime, thank you for watching this video.